Traders, it is a Friday and I'm done trading. Um, it's been a great week for me. All green week. Uh, didn't have any one losing day, although it was a short week because of uh, uh, yesterday's uh, holiday, Thanksgiving. But as you can see, I'm going to finish my day up over $9,000. And uh, you do see here, although you don't see four trades, uh, PLTR were two trades, one for the long side and one for the short side. The short side was much better than my long. So most of my profit comes from the short side, although I have been in green also with my long on slightly in green. Anyway, I'm going to finish it up nicely. Two winners, two losers, but my losers are much smaller than my winners, as should it as it should be. You know, traders, when you are trading professionally, you should uh, try and let your winners ride a little bit more. In fact, I got some help today with from Yogi because Yogi kept mentioning the way uh, he thought PLTR should continue coming down. So I thought maybe I should hold on a little bit. And yes, it worked out fantastically well, my short in PLTR. And you know, again, when you're trading and you're seeing something goes wrong, and let's look at one of my uh, wrong trades, uh, the, one of my losers, that's JD right over here. You see, JD was coming down, going sideways. At this point over here, when I shorted it, it looks like it's going to come down with nice downside momentum. And then I was holding it for a little bit lower, uh, longer, and then it came down under the lows. And look at this glorious failure here. Look at the way JD came up. So, of course, my stop was right over here, right over over this consolidation area when I finally noticed that JD is not going my way, although I should probably have moved out earlier, but it definitely failed. So keep your losers small. When you see something going wrong, just move out. My original stop in JD was supposed to be about 20 cents higher. But you know, when you have such a nice consolidation here and you think that if the stock is going to move higher, then it's going to be probably going to break out as it did, then there's no reason to hold on to your original stop. So again, keep your winners riding longer, keep your losers small as possible. And that's easy to say, very hard to do. You know, I'm saying this and I, I, I know that if you're just starting out trading, it's extremely hard for you to do what I just mentioned. You probably do the exact opposite if you're just starting out. I remember myself when I started out as a trader, my, my winners were much smaller than my losers because I would not be ready to lose that much money. I would have hold uh, the stock a little bit longer, just hoping it's gonna come back for some reason. <laughs> um, I used to do the capital mistake of uh, adding to a losing trade. Did you ever do that? Add to a losing trade? averaging down your loss. I'm just looking back uh, many years ago and uh, well, <laughs> you do. Okay, I did it too, uh, quite a lot of times. You know, adding to a losing trade is the worst mistake you can do in trading. And um, we, we were saying as traders, in, we were always saying that stocks don't always come back. You know, you long a stock and it's going down, then you add to a losing trade. They don't always come back. Yes, they do ever once in a while, but they don't always come back. We always say that the only one who really comes back is uh, parents to children who got lost in a mall. So if it's not parents to children, stocks don't always come back. Please keep that in mind. So never add to a losing trade. But when, and, and the second mistake, of course, when you're a new trader, you don't let your winners run long enough. I remember it took me more than a year to get to the point where I was making one point on a trade, one point on a trade. I usually, I, I used to be happy, extremely satisfied with 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents. Why is that? Because I was happy to finally have some winner. Like PLTR, uh, huge downside move, several points downside move. That was an amazing trade. When, I mean, when I just started out, I could not hold for one point. It just, I couldn't. I was extremely happy when I had less than that, but I forgot that my winners are supposed to be bigger than my losers. So you can see here a very clear example of two trades in PLTR average, let's say $7,000 per trade, and my average loser is less than three grand. And that's the way it should be. Well, I don't always get that, right? It's not that it always works out so perfectly well, but even if it's 50% success rate, that's what I have today. 50% success rate. 
as an experienced trader, you should be making money. It should, you should do well. Now, uh, the next thing you want to look at, and this is also something we discussed uh, several times recently, is the daily of PLTR. First, you do not argue with the intraday. I took the first PLTR trade long, can't remember exactly when it's posted there somewhere. I took the first PLTR trade long, it worked out fine. Then I had a stop loss somewhere, I believe it was somewhere over here. Then I had a stop loss. And then for, no, I think it was 50, yeah, 32.50 or 30, I can't remember. Anyway, I had my stop in PLTR and then Yogi mentioned, mentioned I should take a look at the daily, which I finally did because the intraday initially looked good. Uh, by the way, my long in PLTR was not something I prepared pre-market. That's why I did not see the daily when I prepared it. It was posted here in the room. Uh, one of you guys mentioned that uh, PLTR looks great for long. I agreed and I went long and it worked out well. And um, that was my first green trade in PLTR today. But then I take, took a look at the daily and look at that. Stock was recently traded at $10, a recent IPO that moved from $10 to $34, $33.50. And uh, you could expect a big pullback. Write this symbol down. That's a trade we're going to take in the next few days too. It's going to be on our screens next week. We're going to short it next week. It's not necessarily going to come down all the way. It could just pull back to $25 and then shoot sky high. But it's going to be under some kind of pressure. It's probably going to start with some kind of a gap down uh, next week. I'm not sure. But if it does, then we would look for a gap and go on Monday, as we should. Watch the daily. It's way to extend to the upside. We could find a short opportunity. Uh, so I had one long trade in PLTR and of course the second one, the short worked out just amazingly well. Now, um, the last uh, trade I had, which was a loser, was IQ. IQ was supposed to be a gap and go. It started with a gap down, tried to move higher. I thought it was failing. I shorted it here. Initially, it worked out fine. Then it just decided to move sideways. But as you can see, I've got a relatively very small loser in IQ. I knew I have a very good risk reward because my stop was very close. My target was relatively very far. So I was looking for much bigger winner than I had a loser. Sadly, it became a loser. Anyway, you know, technical analysis doesn't always work and stocks which are supposed to gap and go doesn't always do what you expect them to do. Fine. That's the that's a fact of life. But again, keep your losers small and ride your winners as much as you can. So I really did enjoy my day. Thank you guys for joining us. It's a pleasure to trade with you. We've seen earlier that we had 81% of you guys in green territory. And that's really spectacular. This is just absolutely amazing. You know, I do care about my account. I do care about how much money I make. But when I see that over 80%, and I've seen you guys in YouTube too, showing me probably over 80% too, then that's just amazing. You know, to get into the weekend, knowing that 81% uh, of you guys finished in green, and I'm very sorry for those of you who didn't, extremely sorry, but it happens. And that's just, <laughs> there's no much bigger satisfaction for me as an educator and as a trader who's leading this room to see that 81% of you are in green. It's absolutely amazing. That's my, probably my best uh, Thanksgiving present you could have given me. So, <laughs> although we're not trade, we're not celebrating Thanksgiving over here. But anyway, thanks guys. And um, you guys in YouTube, uh, just one more. We're very, very close to going over 400 uh, likes. And uh, come on, help us out. Uh, give us a like now and let's go over 400 or even 500 likes. And uh, that uh, would be great because that would help our channel. And we want to thank you for being with us. And um, I'll see you all next week. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Bye.